Hello, so welcome to a brand new video on my channel. And today in this video, I will be telling you how I use Arch Linux on a Potato PC. So this is the computer on which I am running it. I won't be showing you the CPU right now. I will show it to you later. But let's just focus on the performance first because that's what you are here for. So let's start with the Kitty terminal. I am using this because it gives me flexibility to customize it. I could already use the normal terminal or the native terminal which comes pre-built but I don't really like the way it looks and I don't want to waste my time in rising it. So I just install Kitty and customize it as per my need because configuring it is a lot more easier. And as you can see that although this is a potato PC and yeah potato is a perspective based stuff but i will show you why i said that okay so it says that a problem has occurred and the system cannot recover so probably um okay it looks like the normal or the native terminal has failed and how to deal with this wow so here we are the first problem is here that we cannot actually access the terminal because maybe it seems like the RAM has overflowed. So let's log in again. And see how it goes. So my biggest flex is that I have a cursor before the screen boots up. <laughs> yeah. So I won't be opening up this shit again because it really fucked up the whole environment. I will be using this kitty terminal and the reason you already know. So let's not waste more time and see the specs first. So I will be using fast fetch because it says it's fast and it looks like it's a bit fast. So let's go by the specs first which is Arch Linux x86-64 kernel is linux 6.10 whatever uptime is 5 minutes so yeah packages 803 doesn't really matter shell also does not matter display probably way too good display considering that this is running on a potato pc desktop environment is gnome wm is mutter wm theme is advert and theme also icons font cursor so let's ignore all this because it does not really matter in terms of potato pc this is the information for which you are looking for yeah so the cpu is intel pentium dual and this cpu is nearly 10 or 11 years old and yeah i had this like i am having this since 10 years already so i know that it's at least that years old the next one is GPU. The reason for getting this GPU was that um, I actually wanted to have an HDMI port on my motherboard and it did not have any. It had only VGA connectors and this monitor only supports HDMI. So I had to use VGA to HDMI converter and then use VGA to VGA cable, then VGA to HDMI, then HDMI to HDMI. So it was a lot mess of cables. So to avoid all that, I just purchased this GT610. And it was probably the cheapest GPU I can find on Amazon. It was for around 12 or 13 dollars maybe. So yeah, I got this. The next thing is memory. So this is 4 GB RAM. I don't know why it's saying 3. Probably one of the slots has maximum readability capacity or reading capacity as 1 GB that's why it's saying 2.9 GB and it's using the memory of 984 MBs only so it's a decent amount of memory considering that it's a potato PC but it still runs a bit smooth if you are just doing the daily tasks and not for really hard users swap memory is this much does not really matter now disk is 5.98 GB is utilized out of 1.88 GB so yeah it's 2 terabyte of RAM so the biggest or the most costly stuff in all the specs was probably this disk then GPU and this one is 
really cheap. So yeah, all this stuff has just justified that it's really a potato PC. Now let's just focus on the performance. Closing the terminal here, or I can just flex like I use Arch by just writing sudo pacman hyphen syu. Okay, so it's updating everything. Let's wait for that. Until then, let's open Firefox. So Firefox booted up in normal time, not really slow. We can also see the NeoFetch stuff later to see how much RAM has been utilized. Maybe there are some other system monitor too, so we can check it from there as well. See, I clicked on the icon, it takes around 5 to 6 seconds or sometimes more, but it works. So for me, it's like okay stuff considering that I won't be developing on this PC or gaming or video editing or anything. I will be just using this Arch Linux just for the sake of learning Arch. So even if I break this shit, I don't really care. And the next thing would be to use this just to fix or for making the videos or for like trying the new tools. So that's all for which I am using this Arch. CPU is already 76% utilized and it's look, it looks like it's dual core CPU. Maybe that's why there are two colors. Memory and swap. So swap is used a lot. The memory is being used around 70%. Network is good, I guess. And for the disk, it's reading at okay speed, considering that it's already hard disk and not SSD. So now let's check some other stuff. Let's go to google.com and then I will write check internet speed. So yeah, you can see that there's slight delay in the inputs. Like if I write something, I have to wait few milliseconds just to see the response. And I can show it to you in a better way by going to monkey type. So if I write there, you will be able to see a significant difference between or the significant lag between typing both the words. Let's see down there from so see I have already wrote a lot of words but still it's slow so yeah I mean I don't know if I made any mistake I will only get to know it after writing three or four more words so I usually write around 111 words per minute but this time it's only 62 so yeah But let's see how well it goes. This time it seems like it's almost as same as I write. Like I can see the differences whenever I write something. I am able to see the stuff directly on my screen. Like there's no lag between inputs. So yeah, it's fine I guess for me at least. And considering that I will be only using this computer for the sake of learning Arch. So it's good. I mean, it's not bad, but running it on a potato PC as a daily use case is not good. I have tried Windows XP too, and it works really well considering the specs of the PC I have. But apart from that, for the regular use, it's not good. I can try some uh, some other stuff as well. Like let's try with VS Code first. Um, VS Code UR. So yeah, you will also see how I use. A U R of Pacman. So this is the binary which we need to install. Let's say copy and here I will write yay. Yay. Oh that was it. Oh yeah, by the way, using Kitty is really helpful because see I will be able to see what's behind the screen. So I will write yay hyphen s visual studio code hyphen bit. So yeah, it's good. It's really nice. Using kit is nice. Kittens are nice. Chicks are nice. So let's wait for it to install. And yeah, 
this is the beauty of arch you can pretty much install everything from the aor the, um, like there are three major reasons because of which i have seen people using arch one of them is aor another one is wiki and the third one is rolling updates so as of now i have shown you the rolling updates option because i use pacman hyphen syu plug then i have shown you aur as well because we are using this aur to install vs code and the next thing is probably wait let's wait let's wait oh yeah the third thing was arch wiki by the way so you can go here and see all the guides there it's like a wikipedia but only for arch you can see how to install general recommendation list of applications arch linux stuff and like suppose if you want to install the nvidia graphic cards drivers then you will just write nvidia and you can click here it will show you like everything which you need to know so firstly you have to write this command and after writing this you will be able to see the model of your fam like gpu or the gpu family and it will say like if you have for me install this driver if you have a tesla install this one if it's turing install this and so on so forth so yeah you will get to know the exact drivers and if you click on this then you will be redirected to the page of arch wiki where you will see or oh sorry aur where you will be able to see which stuff to install so pretty much everything is linked with each other and it provides a really nice ecosystem for the gadget itself you won't be able to use it freely or really comfortably with other devices uh, uh, if you are just new to this but if you have a decent amount of knowledge decent knowledge about all these topics then it's going to be pretty smooth and really easy process for you until and unless you just start to update the system and break it so now let's forget that and install the vs code so for me it's working fine and for most of you it will be okay because no not all pcs are potato like this but yeah now we have installed the vs code now let's see from where we can open it mm, here it is i have opened it and waiting for it to load but i don't have really high expectations i don't even feel like it's going to work but in case it works smoothly then yeah it's a win win situation for me okay so it's mm, good i guess it's smooth not as much as a macbook but if it's running on a 10 years old see it's better than what i was expecting lol so let's open a firefox to on site okay i cannot open it like that but there's a slight delay here a noticeable lag but still okay let's open a folder and go to documents <coughs> create a new one vs code test open now hmm so if you are really a developer running it on potato pc you might have migraine 
but if it's just for sake of running arch then yeah you can give it a shot Okay, so apparently only read and write speeds are slow, but if you are making changes here and like stuff like that, then it's good. It's fine, I guess. I mean, I can use it in case of emergency, not like a daily driver. So if I want to start hot reload of what it's live so live. Hmm, not really good. It's not related to the internet speed, I believe, because hmm, it's fine here. So having issues with the VS code only let's close it okay it failed and stopped so yeah it's only good for serving and running some commands let's see some magic then I will write kitty sl plus and 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 Let's write C matrix. And now next thing is to divide it further. Here I will have ask I query and. And here let's have it stop. Nice. So it's good for all this shit, but if you are doing or trying to do something productive, then Potato PC and Arch Linux is a really really bad combination. Just don't do it. And by the way, this is how the Potato PC looks like. The KV rate is really nice, but it only looks good outside. I cannot see the same about it inside. Because inside this is just shit of what you call as a tattoo. 